Hello, I'm David Hunt and welcome to The Art Hunter. My guest today got his acting union card at the age of nine. Uh, landed roles in Australia's uh, iconic soaps, Neighbours and the best soap ever, Secret Life of Us. I didn't even know he was in that to be quite honest. Um, came, came to note internationally uh, in the Academy Award nominated uh, Animal Kingdom and why wouldn't it because he, he plays the tough guy beautifully. Uh, along came the TV series um, uh, Strike Back and then the groundbreaking Blind Spot, which he was the big star. Ooh, look at him. <laughs> Our former US President Bill Clinton um, loved the show and singled him out uh, in the show as well. Um, and then he went, he's gone topless with 300, the rise of the empire is over my shoulder. You know, like, I, I bet you had to work out a lot for that. Uh, and m many, many other amazing Australian shows. And we might talk about uh, a tattoo that he has in a very interesting spot. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Oh, he doesn't even know what I'm talking about. No. But he told me that on radio one time a few Which, years back. That one? No. No. Or did you lie to me about, about the other one? I'm probably I haven't to. even introduced no. you yet. No. Oh, Hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, well, it's coming up on the screen anyway by now. Sally, hello and welcome. Hello. Um, look at you. What a career you've forged for yourself. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, still forging. Of course. Still forging. Hey, hey, have you, is, there's still the the hunger there, you know, the you know, like the thinking you know, I, I still want to do something big and yeah. better and I don't know, like I don't know, better. It was you know, I mean you know, to to have the opportunity to tell stories. Um, and I think Australia, you know, we, we have some good stories to tell. Um, but then also overseas, you know, that door opening, you know, thanks to Animal Kingdom. Um, you know, there's um, obviously there's, there's you know more stories uh, on the shelves. So but you're you know. you very much, and I did mention it. You play the tough guy. You mm. know, like the um, <laughs> I did. <laughs> you, you did. But but when when you get to know you, you you're not that person. You're like you're you're a lovely, kind, nice person. <laughs> believe it or not, people. Uh, so that's why I'm an actor. <laughs> but that that's your acting skill. Mm. You know it. And do you find it funny that you, you often get uh, cast in that sort of role? Uh, yeah, I, like, um, I think from the start, what, you know, what doing Neighbours or Blue Heelers or whatever, I was always sort of the naughty kid or, you know, the guy from the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> uh, so that fits. But then, um, you know, to, to, to end up doing action and, and whatever, a director told me once, he was like, you know, you've got this vulnerability within you, as you said, you know, in real life, I'm a lovable teddy bear. Um, but yeah, that, he, you know, he said to me, it's a funny thing to, you know, and, and a great sort of gift that you have to be able to be vulnerable. You can cry or whatever, but then you can also kick ass. Yeah. Uh, so that was, you know, I guess that was, <laughs> that's the pigeonhole I've sort yeah. of found but, myself in. But you, you all of a sudden look, look back and, you know, on what I said, you know, at the union card at yes. nine, yeah, uh, and it was an auntie that her kids yes. got involved, yes, and uh, and then you and uh, was it your sister, yeah, you know, like got got involved in acting. You've done good uh, research. Uh, what? Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, what was it uh, about acting that you thought I am interested in this because you know, yeah. like a lot of kids don't get it, do they? At that yeah. age, I did. Like, I mean, at that time, it was fun. You know, it was, uh, and I think I was doing commercials, and um, you know, I think I nearly lost a tooth on a Smarties commercial. Oh, did you? We ate so many Smarties. You shouldn't uh, say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you know, it's gone now. That was that was <clears throat> something like over thirty years ago. Um, but you know, I think when I was a teenager, or, or yeah, young teenager, a director had somehow he'd seen a photo of me or, or asked to cast me in a short film and yeah it was fun but that, that was when it became fun but it was great that I was you know I, I was shitting myself because all, all the kids were talking about going to drama school and I was like oh god so we have to go to school to do this stuff but he took me aside and said don't 
don't, don't go oh. to school. You know, and, and, you know, saying that to a teenager, like, you know, a grown man just going, well, whatever you've got, just don't go to school because they'll, you know. They'll knock it out of you. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, <laughs> so thank, <laughs> thank God for him saying that because I was like, good, I don't have to go to drama school. But uh, it, it, seemed to, it seemed to work, you know, just sort of obviously. Learning um, your skills on, on, on the, sets. On sets. But also in life. Instead of, I don't know, that's sort of how I approach things scenes or characters um you know imagining imagining that character in that situation right or you know imagining myself in that situation and then applying that to a character yeah um but you know you sort of i ended up seeing <clears throat> some <clears throat> students from drama schools and you could tell which school they were from because oh, they did right. because they did a Particular, similar thing you know what I mean? yeah yeah which is you know it was i'm glad the director said that to me right okay all those drama teachers out there are, are you know like i know probably you. hating me sorry yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you probably would have kicked me out of drama school anyway <laughs> yeah because he's a naughty boy <laughs> sometimes uh yeah, i play your mother loves you i play the naughty boys i'm really um you know yeah. uh, you know offset i'm really nice <laughs> Talking about playing playing a part, is there one part at this particular stage in your career? Because you you know like you're still a young man, so you've got a hell of a long way to go. Is that a good interview? Yes. <laughs> is is there one role that you thought this this is the one that you're so proud of, or is there many? Animal Kingdom, hands down, for you know what it did for all of us, um, and then to be part of. To be part of a film like that 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 touched so many people, um, that you know that was easily my most proud. Uh, and then I guess Strike Back, um, you know, developing that character and being able to do stunts and whatever, and travelling the world, um, that was that was a lot of fun. But what about Blind Spot? Yeah, you know, which yeah, you know, like you you were the main star of that, <laughs> yeah. and uh, and yeah, you know, like Bill Clinton um, <laughs> spoke about you. Um, no, he spoke he spoke about me with Strike Back. Oh, was it Strike Back? It was Strike Back. Oh, okay. Which was um, it was funny to see that on TV. Someone sent that to me, and Bill Clinton sitting there <laughs> talking about his love for this show, Strike Back. I don't know. It was. It was Explosions, guns, and ammo. <laughs> I don't know. It was it was funny to to hear that. But Blind what, spot, what though, a lovely compliment, though. It was great. Yeah, it was great. Um, and also, in, one of my favourites. We were in um, Comic Con, San Diego, um, and Henry Winkler walked past. Now the people that I was with, I don't know. <clears throat> maybe it was showing my age, but I was freaking out about that. <laughs> I was like, "That's cool, uh, the funds," um, and they didn't know it. And then he saw me and was like, oh, "Damien Scott from Strike," but you know, and, so, and he he watched. But he then went through these scenes where he knew a lot of detail. He loved the show, and I was sitting there freaking out about that. But then he said, "Can I have a photo?" And I was like. Yeah, Henry. I, I, I want. You know, I didn't. I, didn't, I wasn't going to ask him because I was, I was kind of uh, a bit embarrassed or, or just nervous. Yeah, but you know, things like that. <laughs> it, wow, it, it wow. got to people. Ah, uh, but you've never been in any of these films yet. What's no. going on? No, I know. He thinks you're a crap actor. Yeah, <laughs> you're in, in the show. Barry, light. I'd love to. I'd love to be on Barry. Oh, how! What a great show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so. Anyway, the one that I thought... Um, yes, 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 yes. Blind Spot. Well, that, I mean, that was a brilliant show as far as, you know, we never, you know, and I guess our job is, is gambling. You never know how it's going to be received and whatever. And that, that uh, the first script for Blind Spot, you know, I was on board straight away. It was a win-win for me. It was a good story. And, and then it was set in New York, filmed in New York. Yeah. Oh wow! How long so, did you spend there? Well, five years. Five years. So that's where Fantastic. that's where it was great, but it was, you know, I mean, the hours of a network TV show are quite insane, um, which I never knew. Yeah, I never knew that. Like, you know, I understand when we're when we're sort of doing a film or whatever, and you know, you got some long days, but. Uh, yeah, those. So, day. so tell tell our uh, viewers yes. what what do, you, what do you mean? You know, like how many hours a day were you um, working? Well, I mean, sometimes we you know we were filming 
like 16 hour days whoa and you know like by the end you just you know and you're obviously you know you're you're repeating you know you're doing scenes over and over again you yep. know cameras are yep. going to each actor and whatever and by the end you know you, you just sort of you go a bit loopy because by you know you, you've done it so many times and it's now 16 hours down <laughs> it's like yep gotta get the day done go home go to sleep learn lines for the next day do it again and it was you know sometimes a bit monotonous with that yeah where, you know yeah. but we had great writing team and yeah there was there was great episodes in that and you know chasing criminals around new york it was a lot of fun well i'm going to ask you about that but i, I just want to go back you know like you, you mentioned learning lines uh and yeah. you often sit at a you know, at a table with yep. the other actors going over it. Because I, I've, uh, I've been looking at a lot of series of late thinking, there must be so much time and effort yeah. that goes on f when before you even sh go out there and shoot. F film, yeah. And I think, you know, uh, like, weirdly, I, I don't know what shows you're talking about now, but it is, it's almost like the ad-libbing, you know, um, and ad-libbing is, you know, making up the dialogue. Yep. Or, or, you know, obviously, you've got the various shapes of the scene but you, um, you're right I'm, like some of the scenes i was like wow that was that was a massive monologue or then you know and they're sort of on top of each other and it is it's almost it's almost um like an ad lib sort of scene but yeah with us that was you know that, uh, it was it was funny i'd ask for uh the next day's scenes and then while you know while they're setting up cameras and whatever just learning the lines. For, for Do the you find day. it hard or easy learning lines? Easy, easy. I, I guess. Um, I guess it's like you know, you're sort of like an, an athlete. You know, you sort of train your train that muscle to, to work. And um, you know, I, after after the ac I had an accident a few years ago, and that was that was hard. You know, coming back into that and sort of yep. trying to because they stopped production. Uh, because yeah. of your accident, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, they they had to. <laughs> they had to. <laughs> yeah, you you were the star. <laughs> uh, but you know, like it's it's that whole whole plan. Do you find that you actually take the character home with you? You know, like do you start talking that way when you go <laughs> home, or do you let it rest? No, I let it rest. It was um, I don't know. It, I guess it's a, it's a funny thing. That, you know, you could go in and out of accents or whatever. So like you know, American. And then I just go into my Australian accent, you know, if, if I if I forgot a line or whatever, um, and yeah, that threw a few people. Yeah, like, you know, a few actors are just like, oh, fuck, you're Aussie. <laughs> like, yeah, I am. Um, oh, they didn't even know it. No, some. Okay. You know, when you're just sort of doing scenes or whatever, and they'd come in. Um, also, you know, from Strike Back, uh, there's a fair few people who have sort of come up to me, gone, are you? Are you the guy from Strike Back? And I'm like, uh, yeah, 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 you know, Sully. And they're like, no, wait, are you, are you the guy? I'm like, yeah, your voice is different. I'm like, yeah, you put on that accent to earn the money. Yeah. <laughs> New York. Which yeah. there's a lot of productions out of New York. We yep. we think of LA a lot, but yes. so many detective shows and yeah. so many films yes. are, are shot in in New York yes. as well, um, and most <laughs> of them on the streets of New York. Um, but you were working so hard. Did you really get to love and know New York, or were you no. so busy working the whole time? Yeah, unfortunately, I've got to say, yeah, uh, you know. Yes, to the latter part of that. Which oh, that's a shame, isn't it? it? it yeah, it, that, that, you know, it sort of disappointed me because, as I said, the hours you're working, like you'd work, you'd end up working really late uh, on a Friday night, like into Saturday morning. So then you'd go home and it was like, oh, shit, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't sleep all day because you'd have to get up early on the Monday morning. So it's kind of, you're sort of forcing yourself to, to sort of stay, you know, you go to sleep for a bit and then force yourself to get up. Um, go out for dinner or whatever on the Saturday night, but then the Sunday, you're learning lines for Monday wow. or Tuesday, whatever. Wow. So it was kind of, it, it sort of, it, it took away, you know, that opportunity, I guess, to really 
enjoy New York. Yeah. Um, so you, you've never gone back for a holiday? No, just... we're, ha, we're about to. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I, uh, I just got a visa, a, a B1 visa to go back to the States. I thought you would have one or, anyway. No. Well, don't, was, don't you? Weirdly, um, I was always on O one, um, an O one visa, which is, you know, you are attached to that job. Ah, oh, so I get it. Then each job, you know, that th that next company, they just swap that visa. Yeah, and you know, it'd be a no one to them. Um, and you know, I still had that, and I could have, I guess, maybe updated it, but we were stuck here for COVID. Mm. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> so that hurt. Um, and then I went back. You know, I went back on the Esther, the visa waiver program now, because my partner's American. Um, so it took her home because uh, she was stuck here with me. For that would be terrible. Two and a half years, yeah. yeah. But you know, we're, we're good little cellmates in the, in the, in the you know, in the because um, you were COVID. here in Melbourne, weren't you? Through yeah, yeah. The, you know, in that COVID prison time. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, that was that was a really bad time to bring her to Australia. Yeah, because I was sitting there just going, "Oh, it's great. You love Australia." Uh, and, you know, I was, you know, American. So she, I was like, you know, it's gonna be summer for Christmas. It's gonna be great. Shit. Um, the fires, I think, kicked in first, and then that, you know, that that year was, that was shocking. Mm. So then <laughs> she went back to the states, um, and I was going to go back, but then COVID kept me here, and I was like, uh, "Honey, you have to come back here." Yeah. Um, I need someone to hang out yeah. with because I can't hang well, out with Well, also, Trump, he, Trump was running the, that country at that time. Mm. The Oompa Loompa was, um, you know, drinking hydroxychloride or whatever the hell he was drinking, <laughs> saying, you know. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. I'm not gonna yeah. Get it. <laughs> what? Crazy, I was like, man. yeah, you're coming back here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, talking about the fires, yeah. um, you were involved in a show called Fires. Yes, I was. Um, what, tell us about that. Uh, so Did that come out of COVID time? Yeah, that was. Yeah, we were filming it um, during COVID, um, and again, you know, I got, I got to work with um, you know some good friends of mine, uh, Tony Ayres, uh and Belinda Chaker, who wrote it, um, and she did. I think one of my first films I ever did, uh, City Loop, um, but yeah, that was you know that was a great story to be part of you know uh, really sort of a hard-hitting story you know yeah. of how it affected australia and people um in that time and you know over the uh, you know, year after year when mm. it happens mm. but it was um it's kind of a harrowing harrowing series yeah to watch. And, and now with all the floods going on as yeah. well i know, I know. and it's some of the same people as well which yeah is, uh, uh, yes and no no they've just rebuilt their house or whatever mm. from the fires yeah. and the floods yeah. kick in so was it La Nina yeah um, La Nina. Um, La Nina. Well, while you were here after the verdict yes uh, was that a COVID uh, that was uh, that was a COVID escape to Sydney um, which was you know I was really thankful for because we we, uh, we got out of here <laughs> um, and then my partner fell in love with Sydney and she's like why do we live in Melbourne and I went Go to the real estate agent, you'll find out why. <laughs> but it was great to get out of here. Yeah, but know. a great little series. It yeah. was only, what, six weeks? Yeah, or? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, six eps, and, and it was. It was three months up in Sydney um, over summer. Um, you know, great story, great cast. A really yeah. interesting story. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Um, and, and, you know, quite original. Yes. Uh, so I, I can see somebody picking it up overseas and, and running with it. Well, I think, uh, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know what we're streaming on um, overseas, but it's, you know, I'm hoping for the second series. Really? Um, as, we, as we all do. Okay, <laughs> okay. But well, I've got to go back a few years because um, uh, it's hysterical. 300. Yeah. What, how, how much fun was that making? Yeah. That was, um, you know, to be an actor, I, I, I didn't really do much theatre. Uh, I did at school. But it felt like you're on stage there. Did it? Yeah. It was like, uh, you know, I got there and, you know, we'd been training for months. I was doing strike back at the time. Um, and then, you know, training um, <clears throat> to get those abs and stuff. 
Um, but then to get on set, and that first time I was thinking about this the other day, where it's, I guess they just expect you to be able to do that, you know, and I guess that's what actors do. It's like we all what do you sign. Mean, do that. Just do that. Just get out there and just be in charge. Just be the leader of an army. But you know, <laughs> they put a denim. Army. They put a denim skirt on you. <laughs> you walk out, give you a sword, and you're like, shit. <laughs> oh damn, I'm in charge. <laughs> it's like, and, and you do it. And, and it's, it would have been all green, green as yeah, well. Yeah. So for those that don't know, you know, like there's yes. no real set. No, there's uh, you know, I mean, obviously we're we're in a, a theatre here, but it is. It's just surrounded by green screens. Um, but we're on a gimbal, uh, which is you know that's sort of the ship, um, and you know the gimbal sort of you know makes it move and and um, whatever. So we, we, you know, at least we had that. But then, you know, you're getting people to run around the set with, with uh, tennis balls <laughs> on the end of broomsticks and whatever, as to, you know, to give you an eye line to look at a, a you know, that's yeah. a boat there and that tennis ball is another boat. <laughs> it's like, is, it, is it off-putting, you know, like with the fact, it, or do you so, get into the zone? But that's what, yeah, but that's what I mean, I, I guess, Dave, where it is, it's like, that's where they expect you to do it. You just got to do it because it's like, okay, so, yeah, so that, that, that ball's, yeah. That's that's a horse or something, right? And that one's a boat, and yeah, you know, like you just got to pretend, mate. Um, and that's but that's the great thing. That's where it is. It's like, I guess dress ups for adults. Yeah. It's you know we're we're, we're playing. Yeah. Um, and that that's where it become a lot of fun, you know, and especially, you know, some of the some of the team of my soldiers, <laughs> we're, we're all looking, you know, one way, and so you know they're they're looking at it, that ship. I was like that tennis ball. Hey, boy, yeah, that ball. And I was like, yeah, boys, um, there's got to be another ball over there because we're getting surrounded by ships. <laughs> and so then they all turned around, and, you know, they're all looking that way. And I'm like, uh, boys, that ship, that ball. Okay, so half you got to go that way, half this side. And it was kind of, you know, that was fun to to um, I don't know to get into the zone and yeah, you do. You just you pretend you're in that world. Yeah. But but then there are most of the production you've done. You're like it's you're right there. Yeah. You're like yeah. New York is, yes. is there. It's, Running it's through the streets your, of Thailand or whatever. And yeah. You know. Um, and do you like that? You know, like different cities, different experiences. You know, like how different three hundred was to it yeah. to everything else. You know, like it, it must keep you on your toes as an actor. Yeah. It, it it does, but it's also you know I mean that's one of the perks of the job that that you get to travel, you know experience um, you know different I mean you know foods and, and languages and um, cultures you know it's um but you that's don't, my favorite part. but you but you actually say that you don't experience it because you're so busy working New York New York I did but I mean New York was the one that that, that got me whereas strike back we were doing um, French hours so there was no lunch it was just there's no stopping um, and it was 10 hour days and that's it and so then you know yeah we had time to, to yeah discover you know go out and discover discover the world that we're in um, but yeah New York yeah, that's. I mean, that that's where it hurt, but that's okay because uh, Lexi's American, so we're we're going back um, for a white Christmas this year. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're leaving this beautiful. I know. We're having here now. Oh yes, because it's such a great summer. <laughs> <laughs> like, we haven't um, reached summer yet, have we? Is I don't know, mate. We just land. I just landed, and um, it was funny. It was a couple of nice days, and I was in Sydney. And the cab driver, you know, he was driving me the airport. He was like, thanks for bringing the weather. And I was like, what? And it was a nice day. And I was like, it's, it's all right. It's summer though, isn't it? And he's like, no, nah, dude. We've, we've had rain for like a month. Yeah. And he's like, this is the first nice day that we've had. And I was like, yep. okay. And then down here, same deal. Yep. There's well, a couple of good days. Yep. <laughs> but 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 we we had it a lot better than Sydney earlier. It's yeah. only just now that right. Um, okay, okay, okay. Ten weeks in a row it rained every weekend in Sydney. Ten weeks in a row, you know, like that. It was doing everyone's head in, <laughs> and everyone was telling me, oh, you know, like 
10 weeks. And I went, yeah, like the person I just got off the phone told me exactly the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I know it's been 10 weeks. What, did you read it? No, yeah, like such and such told me. Oh, oh okay. So with, with you know, it's been raining in LA. I just left LA and it's been raining there, which, yeah, that, that doesn't happen. Right, it's, okay. That's strange. Wow. So it's like, what's, what's going on? Wow. Um, climate change. Yes. Yep. Uh, so is there sort of a concept or an idea that you've got yourself that you would like to develop as an actor? Or don't, aren't you that no. sort of actor? No, I am that actor. Um, there, was, there was a project that um, I, I don't know. My agent saw a photo of mine that it was, I was in Bluestone Lane, uh, which is a great coffee shop in, in New York. Uh, and it was, you know, they, they sort of had these sort of affirmations on the board or whatever, and little quotes. But our first police force was made up of convicts. And yeah, my agent, I, I posted that and I was like, you know, that explains a lot. Um, but yeah, he, he said, is that true? I was like, yeah. And then we sort of developed, you know, th this synopsis of, of like a 10 part series. Um, and, you know, that that's still there, still, you know, floating around, um, but also producing, um, which I went into that and, um, you know, still, um, you know, sort of. Keeping, keeping, keeping everything going as, yeah. as you've got to do. Do you like that? Do yeah. you like, like the behind the scenes stuff? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, uh, you know, and throughout throughout um, my younger days, I was a grip and, and actor uh, and sometimes on the same shows. So the, gri oh. the grips being, you know, the boys that put down the tracks yeah, yeah. and whatever. Uh, what, as a 16 or 17 year old? No, 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 I was a sort of 20s. Oh, okay. But it was, I think it was Rush. I think I was on Rush where, um, yeah. I had one scene to do on one day, and I was gripping anyway, but yeah, I just went in there and you know, put on the costume, did the scene, <laughs> finished, put your, put your little walk, your ear, ear wig in, um, and then yeah, went back to gripping. So many, so many shows you've been on, you yeah. know, like, and, and remembering them now, is, is that, is it all nice memories? You know, like just pulling yeah. something like Rush out of um, yeah. your air then? It is, like, that and, um, you know, I mean, you said Secret Life. Like those, you know, they were, they were fun days. And, and, it was, it was such and you didn't even know that I was on that. I, I didn't. I yeah, did. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, uh, no, but me and Stephen Curry. Yeah. I can, I can remember uh, having a little laughs with him um, on the fact that we finally got on there because I think we were on the fourth series. Oh, I'd given up by then. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Is this over? <laughs> um, no, we, um, you know, that, that uh, it used to piss me off because I was living on Beaconsfield Parade, so I'd see them all the time playing the soccer games and whatever. Yeah. I'd run across there and, um, you know, sneak some food from the caterers. <laughs> but um, finally got on it. And then, yeah, it was a shame because, you know, it, it didn't last, but it was... Well, yeah, because mm, once you're what, on a show, it, yeah, it goes really? downhill. Fuck. <laughs> well, good luck then. <laughs> <laughs> Sully, what a treat it's been having you on today. Thanks, um, Congratulations on a Thank brilliant you. career. You really have <laughs> had a, an excellent career. And, you know, like, just the little bits and pieces you can talk about, you know, like... Yep. Um, you know, like, you, are you going to write a book? <laughs> wow. Yep, you're making me feel very young. No, I'm not going to write a book. I can't, like, what? There'd be just little ex excerpts, ex excerpts, excerpts? Well, there you go. <laughs> but, but why not? Why not just have the little... A few years. Yeah, little bits and pieces. Yeah. From... from it is funny, like, a, you know, someone was asking the other day, you know, who, who I've met. That, that really made me happy. And one of them was Sir Patrick Stewart. Um, and he was standing next to LL Cool J. My agent at the time, he, he was like, do you want to meet LL? And I was like, no, <laughs> I want to meet Sir Patrick. He went, who? I said, That's Sir Patrick Stewart, dude. Anyway, uh, then I, I got to meet him, we met. He left 
And then both me and LL Cool J were freaking out that we got to talk to Sir Patrick Stewart, you know? Which is, you know, and my actor was just in there going, really? I was like, yeah. yeah. And LL, but yeah, A both of us. legend. But like, yeah. kids. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. Thank you so much for being on the show. My pleasure. I'm David Hunt. You've been watching The Art Hunter. We'll be back again next week. See ya. We'll be right back.